Hello guys, M here, and welcome to another Fallout 4 settlement build. And today, I present to you an epic build of gargantuan proportions. I mean, just look at this. Yeah, it's a five-story monster warehouse, and inside of this building is a monster manufacturing machine. Now, I've relocated the sorting facility from here at Starlight Drive-In and built this. Because the new Fallout is coming very, very soon, I wanted to really get into mods and I really wanted to push myself with some of the construction skills and some of the logic gates. So, what I have done is taken the Manufacturing Overhauled mod and created a huge, big processing machine. Now, this is actually a bottling plant. Now, we're down here on the main floor, but way, way, way up above our heads is the ingredients floor. Yes, more on that in just a moment. Now, down here, I've used the manufacturing overhaul mod and put down the different machines that make beverages. So we have number one here, we have number two, there's a number three, and just around the corner, there's a number four. Now, for today's video, we're going to use number three, and, oh dear. Um, one of the workers doesn't look too good, does he? Anyway, number three is the one we're going to use. This is the bottling plant alcohol. And each one of these machines has its own switch because it actually directs the ingredients to the machine. Yes, rather cunning. But before we get into all the details of how this machine actually works, let's go to the beginning and see where it all starts. Now, this build has probably taken well over a month to put together. It really, really has. And we start over here at the workbench, as usual, and extract things with the vacuum hopper. They're then sent along to this sorting machine, which takes out the necessary ingredients for all of the different building machines. They're sent up above our heads in the elevators over there to that hopper. And anything that comes through that is not needed for any of the building is immediately discarded into this collection unit. Now, the reason for having this hopper up there is quite simply, the system has one exit from the whole manufacturing facility. This is sent to another sorting machine, which recycles some of the ingredients. They get sent back up above to be resorted and put into the system. Rather clever, huh? And, well, they then go above our heads through a set of elevators up to the ingredients floor, which we will come to in just a moment. So that's really the basic part for the beginning and we need to go up above and let's go into the control room. I wanted a rather clean setup. So up here we have a computer terminal so that we can actually program the different building machines for what we want to create. There are four switches numbered one, two, three and four, which corresponds to the four different building machines you've seen down there on the factory floor. And more importantly, they're also connected to the logic gates above us in order to mix the ingredients. But I'll come to that in just a moment. On the back wall just over here, we have three extra switches. And the first one here, this one, is actually the main power switch. The second one here, this is the vacuum hopper below our feet. And the third one here is actually the cleaning system, which allows you to purge all of the different building machines of their contents, send them back through the system and have them recycled. They get taken out through these vacuum hoppers along these conveyor belts and sent through the same system that all the other ingredients pass through to be sorted out. So they get recycled and sent back to the other machines. Now, I think it's time to start this machine off. So let's switch on the vacuum hopper below our feet, which obviously takes stuff out of the workbench. Now, this may or may not include some ingredients that obviously is necessary. And as you can see, they're coming out through the vacuum hopper, going into the first sorting machine and then being sent through the system. So let's go up to the next level and see where everything ends up on the ingredients floor. Now that's above our head, so let's just go up through this and up here. This is the ingredients floor and basically it's a rather open plan two-story area with a lot of sorting machines and a lot of hoppers. And the hoppers are all numbered by the way. So everything comes up from below and goes into this first sorting machine. Now this splits the ingredients from one side to the other. There's a set of different machines on the left and there's a set on the right. And as you can see, stuff is coming up. And I think there's some stuck glass, yes. I'll just move that out of the way, yes. Glass always seems to do that. Anyway, the machines, as you can see, it's going crazy now below us. There's lots and lots of stuff coming up. And, well, it basically sorts it out into two directions. There is the left side and the right side. 
Now, the ingredients being sorted out are mostly common ingredients that get used in a certain way. And that's really the idea here. And that's the ones labelled in red here. A, B, C, D, E, etc. Those ones are mostly common ingredients. The other ingredients come out through that machine, go into the elevator, and then we just need to go up here. They come out here onto that conveyor belt from this elevator, and they are sent along their merry way across over here into these different sorting machines. Now, the very first four here are related to the four different building machines, and they include ingredients that are unique to the first four building machines because there are some ingredients which will not be used in any of the other building machines. So there's no point in actually doing anything different. The rest of it is some of the common ingredients. So these first four here, number one there, which has uh, got some rum in it, uh, number two there, number three, and number four, as you can see, have quite a long list of ingredients. Those are unique to the four different building machines. And look, here we go. Here's some ingredients coming along for those machines. So... Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's sorting all that out, and it'll all go into the different hoppers. And of course, this is really just getting the stuff ready. So, well, let's just go back down again, and I'll just show you. We have, obviously, the sorting machine here. We have, um, if we just go around this side, it'll be a bit easier to show you. We have uh, the four different hoppers here. One, two, three, and four, numbered the same as the building machines below, and somehow there's a quantum on its way a bit lost I think it may have fell off of one of the conveyor belts there is another four five six seven hoppers here which they actually contain some of the other ingredients and on the other side is the red numbered set of ingredients and basically that's oh dear um, some of the stuff is falling off it, it does happen so you may have to go around and tidy up your facility and there's there's some more quantum falling off here oh dear um, I have a feeling it might be some of these elevators that are actually to blame. Um, this one particularly. So I'm just going to pick this up and put it back on. And uh, let's just uh, let's just tidy this up. Um, it's kind of glowing anyway. It's rather easy to spot. Let's just um, put that back in the machine and get it sorted out. And it seems to drop some glass as well. Oh well. Let's just put this on. Sorry, I'm, I'm, my, my OCD is kicking in. I must tidy this up. Sorry, let's just move this over here and put that down. There we go. And, um, oh, I'm just going to take this. Right. Okay. So, well, yep, this floor has lots and lots of hoppers. And all the ingredients goes into them through the sorting machines. And as you can see, there's the quantum on its way. So the first four hoppers here will end up with all of those ingredients unique to those different building machines. But the real logic here is all these cables above our heads connected to a whole collection of XOR logic gates. And... For some reason, that last one's not connected. Maybe it was for a hopper I've got rid of. I can't remember. Anyway, it's not connected, but it does work. I've tested this machine, so it's um, it's not a problem. Basically, how this is working is the switch down below is connected to these hoppers. The hopper, in turn, is connected to a bus bar of conduit over there, and that, in turn, is connected to the correct XOR gates in order for the correct ingredients to come out and be mixed for that machine. Now, I'm not going to go into the logic here, and please do feel free to drop me a comment if you would like to see a video about the logic, because it could be interesting to you, I don't know. Anyway, we're going to use number three today, the machine number three, which is the alcohol one, but first we need to use the terminal. Now, I know that bottling plant alcohol is the one connected to number three, and today I feel like let's have some rum. I mean, why not? It works in the... Pirates of the Caribbean, right? So, there's the ingredients of this for rum. We've got one of each of these. And we've set that now on the machine. So, now once it gets all those ingredients, it will start manufacturing rum. So, really, what we need to do now is just push the button. And number three comes alive. And as you can see down there in the distance, the switch has now moved over, making sure the ingredients only go to number three. However, up here, a magical thing has just happened. An awful lot of hoppers just opened and are combining all of the ingredients necessary for building machine number three. So all of this could be used in any of the recipes that number three can manufacture. And if you just come around here, only number three here is it's actually opened because that contains the unique ingredients that only number three uses. And all of the other hoppers that are not related to building machine number three, well, they're all shut. So, rather cool, all the ingredients come along here through this conveyor belt. They go over here to a stack of hoppers. We need to get down from 
quite high, so, oh dear, there's some antiseptic in mind. And as you can see, it then goes down onto the factory floor, comes down here into the final hopper, and then passes number four, which it goes around the corner, and we set number three. So the switch is active, and the ingredients are all being fed into number three. Now, it's going to take a little while to get all the necessary ingredients for this from above. And, well, rather than make you watch that, and frankly, that wouldn't be great video, um, I'm going to actually skip to it. So let me just skip fast forward. Now, it didn't take that long for the ingredients all to filter through, but it does depend on how much you may have up in your hoppers. It actually turned out that what I was missing was mutt fruit. So as soon as it gets some mutt fruit, it has all the necessary ingredients to now start making rum. And hopefully we have a bottle of rum. Indeed, there we go. And that's going to go up in these elevators, up above our head, onto that conveyor belt, and it will come out onto the communal conveyor belt, which passes it to the beginning of the system. Now, you should see the bottle come out. There it is. And now it's going to go along that conveyor belt, which is the same one used by the cleaning system, and it's sent over here into this hopper, which is obviously the end of the production line. And hopefully we're going to see a bottle of rum. Come on. Come on, I know you can, you can do it. Where is it? Give me the rum. There's the rum. There it is. There we go. There's a bottle of rum, and it sounded like another one as well. So, rather cool, huh? I mean, it basically took all the necessary ingredients, put it into the right building machine, and it will just keep making it as long as it has all the necessary ingredients. Now, you'll note here that it goes into the sorting machine, but doesn't get put through this recycling. It doesn't get sent above our head, and the reason being, I don't want it to. I want to take it out and decide if I use it or not. There are some ingredients which are also things that you might want. Rum is actually an ingredient of one of the other machines, but I wouldn't want that to just go straight above our heads into the recycling. I'd rather keep it myself and uh, decide if I want to put it back in. Okay, so there is just one more thing I'd like to show you today, and, well, it's the cleaning system. But first, we need to switch off the vacuum hopper. Let's stop taking things in from below. And then we need to go over here to the other control, because currently we are forcing stuff into number three. Let's switch off number three. And that also switches the conveyor belt, so everything gets discarded to the left. But it also switches off the hoppers above our head. Now we can switch on the cleaning system. Yeah, now that's going to start taking stuff back out of that building machine. Anything that was still on the conveyor belt that hadn't quite reached number three is going to be discarded on the left here and go into the hopper and be recycled through the system again anyway. Anything that is already now in the machine is going to get taken out through that vacuum hopper, put onto those conveyor belts in the middle, and then sent back through to be recycled up above our heads into the correct hopper. How cool is that? I mean, that's pretty cool. I like that. And, well, you may notice that there's a big gap to the right here. And you're right, there is. And the reason being, well, originally I had planned to use all nine different machines on this site. And that was going to be both cooking and liquids, both beverages and food. Well, yeah, the problem is I've already broken the complexity level here many times over. And I pushed it so far that it started to do some rather freaky things. It really did. And that does happen if you break that complexity level. So, well, I took it back down a level. I decided to take down the complexity level and focus on a bottling plant instead of a food plant, unfortunately. Otherwise, it would have been a nice setup here, I think, with all of the nine different machines, but it was just a little bit too much, and it would have probably required, well, probably at least twice, if not three times, the number of hoppers above our head, and that's just crazy. I mean, it'd be quite epic, but it's rather crazy, isn't it? So um, I decided to just focus on bottling. I mean, it's, it's quite cool. And, well, I had a lot of problems while building as well. Um, some of them were a little bit unforeseen. Now, some of you will say you should have foreseen this and checked your conveyor belts, but I had forgotten I was missing a piece. And, well, it had been dumping out ingredients. And I will say that did take quite a while to pick up. And before I removed the cooking machines, I had a bit of a problem with some ragstag meat. Um, yeah, well, it does cause a bit of a problem on the system, and a lot of it fell off. I mean, don't tell the food hygiene people, they've probably shut me down. I mean, I don't have the cooking part now anyway, but this did cause a problem in a lot of the system, so, um... I mean, it's okay, it fell on the floor, right? I mean, surely, it's it's just a bit fluffy. I mean, yeah, it'll be fine. 
Well, that's really what I wanted to show you today. An epic construction here at Starlight Drive-In of a five-storey monster building housing a huge machine capable of mixing ingredients and then creating stuff. How cool is that? And as I said at the beginning, if you're interested in the logic to this, I might make a behind-the-scenes video and actually show how some of it was put together because it is a little bit complicated, so feel free to drop me a comment if you're interested. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon. Thank you.